What is up everybody, it's your boy Duty back again with another video and breaking news folks, there's drama in the sector and the vortex. Oh my lord, they're just clashing, that's right. Uh, if anyone's been watching or paying attention lately, you know there's some serious drama going on with our boy Andy Worski, Kino Casino and uh, and the sector and so on. And I, I, first thing I want to say is this video isn't about Andy. Uh, I've given my thoughts about Andy and his... Um, and his issues with sobriety and so on and i've said my piece on that i'm not gonna dump on someone because uh you know maybe they fell off the wagon or whatever uh that that's not what this video is about uh and i don't know enough about i don't know have enough information to base a an opinion on what actually happened so what i'm reading and seeing are people that just don't like uh andy or have beef with him you know there's one person out here by the name of um uh i'm guessing sector king I, I guess that's the person I, i'm not fully sure I, again i'm not fully keeping up on this but there were some issues going on last year where apparently uh the kino the kino guys were um they were uh you know they were uh, uh, someone paid for a trip for them to come to vegas and so on and apparently there was some uh, drama that ensued over in vegas with uh uh, ladies of the night and so on if you want to go read it go ahead again this video really isn't about them this video is specifically about phil and his reaction to all the drama in the sector and my lord you know with friends like phil who the fuck needs enemies man when you when you got a little bit of drama occurring don't expect phil to ever have your back he will drop you like like that, like a snap of the finger. If, if he thinks that you're gonna hurt his paper or his bottom line, or you're gonna give him too much drama, he doesn't give a shit what you did or what you've done for him. He's gonna bounce. He's like, peace out. You fix your own problems. I got enough of my own issues to worry about. And that's the type of person that Phil is. So uh, again, if you wanna know more about this drama, go ahead on Twitter, read it up. There's tons of people we can follow. Cog, Ethan Rock, Review Tech, Review Tech USA. There's a whole bunch of people out there posting about this. Uh, even Pescator was on uh, Rich's stream yesterday talking about it. And uh, yeah, go ahead. There's plenty of, there's plenty of videos and, and conversation if you want to know more about this. But anyway, this video specifically is looking at Phil and how Phil reacts to um, when people want his opinion or his questions. I thought, Phil, that you were a changed man that you were about talking and discussing issues. And uh, of course, this was the second mention on his stream yesterday. Someone during the podcast said, hey, are you gonna talk about what's going on with Worski, one of the kick viewers? And Phil said, essentially, shut up, I'm gonna ban you, right? He, did, he ignored the issue, he didn't address it, he just said, shut up, on kick, I'm gonna ban you if you keep talking about it, right? And so, of course, the, the dents stopped talking about it. Lo and behold, last night during the unrecorded beg segment, uh, someone asked a question to Phil and said, hey, are you going to talk about what's going on with Kino? The rumors, the drama, and so on. And this is Phil's response to the person asking the question. Will I talk about what's happening with Kino and Andy? I don't know what's happening. I have no idea what's happening. You guys are coming on my streams telling me there's drama and stuff. I don't know. Okay, first of all, that's the first thing I want you to pique your interest. Phil goes, someone came on my stream or people were talking about the, the Kino drama and I know nothing about it. I don't know what's going on. I'm not involved. I've never heard anything. I don't know anything. I see no evil. I hear no evil. Right? That, that's Phil's will say. And of course, he completely contradicts himself in the matter of three minutes here. So let's keep hearing the clip. I have no clue. I know nothing about it. I didn't hear anything about it. So I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Literally in like another minute. No, I, I know what the I know what the rumor is. It's I don't know if it's true. Like you're at you're you you're bringing it up like, gee, Phil, what do you have to say? What do you I have nothing to say. Then why didn't you say that at the very beginning? Why did you come out and you know blow hard and say, I have no clue what you're talking about? I've I I i do not even know what you're referring to. And then when he gets pushed by his chat, he then goes, oh, oh, the rumor. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I know that. I know the rumor. And then, of course, starts attacking the person and, and starts going on about he has no, you know, he, he, he doesn't know whether it's true. 
then maybe that should have been your initial response first. You should have said, oh, yeah, I heard about this. I just don't know. I personally don't know what's going on. I haven't been that involved and so on. But no, this is what he's going to proceed to do here. He's going to proceed to distance, him, distance himself from Kino Casino and the sector. Because he sees that there's some heat going on here. That there might be an issue. And and Phil, Phil wants no part of this. You know, Phil's the type of person he walks in a room. He busts his ass, farts, and just walks out and doesn't even say anything. And then he leaves the people there holding, you know, holding the smell. Trying to figure out what the hell happened. And he just walks out like nothing, like nothing happened. I don't know if what you're saying is true or not. This is this is the equivalent of one of my detractors saying shit about me, and then everyone repeating it and asking everyone what they think about it. It when it's just a detractor who said something about me. Okay, that would be the case if, like, say, Cog talked about this, and you know, Cog and and Kino they don't get along, or just Ethan Ralph. It's not just kino's detractors they're amplifying it because they see potentially some hypocrisy and some issues there but you got mainstream people that are not in the sector you know drama alert folks like that that are talking about this it's not just their detractors but of course phil wants to make this seem like oh it's not a big deal because it's just detractors making shit up that's phil's logic here right and I love how he goes from, I have no clue what happened. I have no clue what's going on. I'm not involved. I don't know anything to now saying, oh, it's detractors. I, I thought you, I thought literally, let's see, literally 47 seconds ago, you said you had no clue what the fuck you, what was going on. And now you've deciphered that the rumors and everything that's going on is detractors. Okay, Phil. Do you know if it's true or not? I don't. So <laughs> I have nothing to say. If I knew it was true, I would say something. If I knew it was outright false, I would say something. But I don't I don't live with the guys from Kino Casino. <laughs> you know? I talk to them every once in a while. And uh, you know, then we do some work together. That's the extent of it. I'm not like I don't I'm not close I'm not bros with them. I'm not close personal friends. I don't talk to them every day. Uh, I don't have insider information. You're coming to the wrong place. Oh, so now we're not friends, we're not bros, we're acquaintances, and we've done some content together. Brother, you are in their chat every single fucking night when they stream trying to get his attention. Listen to me, give me some attention, senpai. Andy, Andy, should I stream my political podcast on Thursday? I don't want to go against against you guys. I don't want to compete. Dude, we already know that you're in their fucking DMs 24-7 trying to talk with them, trying to collab with them. You name drop them almost every single fucking day in your podcast. And I love how you've gone from that to, well, we only talk every once in a while and we're not bros. I have no clue what's going on. Dude, wh why, why do you need to just fucking throw people on the bus like that? Like... Especially people that have kind of helped you out, Phil. These people have gone out of their way to try to improve your life. And whether or not it's true, dude, you, why do you need to take that tack? You should have just gone along. Yeah, I read what happened. Uh, I don't know enough about it, you know, from the very beginning. And to, I don't know anything about it much. I've read the rumors. I don't know whether they're true or not. And uh, yeah, I'd like to know what's going on. If you would have taken that tack, Phil, people would have been like, all right, well, that, that makes sense. That's a logical approach. But no, you want to lie about it. You want to first try to fucking, you know, d push it under the rug and say, well, no, I no, what are you talking about? Or don't talk about it. That was the first response on your podcast is don't bring it up or I'm going to ban you, right? And then when people start questioning it and more information comes out and people in your chat start talking about it, especially your fucking dents that pay you money, and you can't tell them or threaten them that you're going to ban them. Then you say, I have no clue what's going on. I have no no idea. No, I'm, this is all new to me. And literally within 47 seconds, you start talking about what you know, the rumors and so on. Then, then you start fucking casting blame. You start saying it's detractors. And I guess you realize or you caught yourself, right? You caught yourself that you just a minute ago admitted you had no clue what was going on, right? To then blaming the tractors, right? And when you realize probably, oh, wait a minute, I just I just stuck my foot in my mouth. Then you start fucking trying to go on with, well, I really don't know the guys. We're not friends. Uh, um, 
uh, I, I talk to them maybe once a year. I, I don't I don't even know who this Worski fellow is. That's what I'm waiting for next. I'm waiting for the I'm waiting for the that wasn't me that collab with them. God man, with friends like this, who the fuck needs enemies? Like damn man. Phil will drop you at a drop of a dime. It doesn't fucking matter who you are. Like he is not loyal to anyone. And you would think 99% of the internet hates this fucking dude. And uh Kino actually tried to help him. And of course they had they had uh motives, you know, their own motives for doing it. But they helped you out. And truly, a, a month or two ago, they could have dropped you, right? And they could have uh torched you for more content. And they didn't do that. You know, to their credit, they didn't do that. And uh, you know, but does Phil honor that does phil think that that's worthy of defending fuck no phil's ready to drop him at a fucking drop of a dime man if he thinks there's going to be some blowback at him fuck that i'm out i'm done i'm sorry i, I can't associate myself with kino if, if if there's these rumors going around that might hurt my business good jesus man damn phil you don't honor shit Anyway, I just wanted to post that out there because I thought it was extremely funny that Phil, you know, he's starting to change his story. He went from, I have no clue. He went from, I don't know what's going on. Don't talk about it. To then saying, well, I do know what's going on. To then blaming the tractors and, and now trying to distance himself from Kino Casino. Ain't that some shit. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoy the video and the drama that will ensue. I'm pretty sure today and tomorrow on the weekend we'll hear some more shit that happens. Uh, and your boy Duty is here to uh to let you know what's popping anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video peace out